We're going to move right on because okay. this next story was hard to believe when we even found out about it. Now, NASA is working urgently to send astronauts back to the moon, and this time they are relying on a local company to help them. Torvec, a company based in Webster that designs car systems, is helping design a new moon rover, but it is a challenging task. We recently had an exclusive look inside to find out exactly how NASA even found a small company in Rochester to begin with. Angle, you know, a right angle, so it can move just like a crab, right forward, back. It was just another day in November when Andy Gleesman got a surprising email, one he thought was probably a joke. NASA was writing and wanted to know, could Torvec, based in Webster, design a new moon rover? Initially, I did not think it was from NASA because to have, you know, a high up at NASA email something to you, you got to think, you know, is this spam? Is this, what is this? I was immediately excited. I just wanted to make sure it was real. And uh, we checked that immediately because we checked the email source. Definitely was coming out of NASA. NASA had selected Torvec after learning about Torvec's transmission designs for automobiles. In early December, NASA flew the Torvec team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. After the first moon expeditions, no human has stepped on the moon since the mid-70s, and NASA revealed that there is a new space race heating up. China and India are among the nations that want not just to go to the moon, but to build a permanent colony there. And NASA wants Torvec to help make sure the United States is first. You say, okay, will there be an opportunity in my lifetime to relive that great technological achievement I had in the 60s? And yes, now we have it. We have a brand new, uh, even more ambitious plan than we had in the 60s and a much shorter timeline to do it in. NASA told the Torvec team that they needed to have the first designs for the new moon rover done by mid-February. In this famous video with astronaut Neil Armstrong, the old moon rovers were more like golf carts that couldn't go very far or very fast. NASA wants a new rover that can travel longer distances and run as fast as 12 miles an hour. The new rover would carry four-person crews who would be exploring for water and minerals, among other things. For Gleesman and this small group, the pressure was on. They immediately started the work that would turn this technology into the heart of the new moon rover. But NASA warned that Torvec would only get one shot. We cannot fail on this, and we, can't, we, we have no fear of failing. Houston, you're go for landing, over. This is uh, the most ambitious uh, project that man has ever tried. Uh, we've been to the moon, but that was just to drive around and get some ideas of what was there. This project will be setting up a whole uh, unit of people, uh, a colonization, if you will, that is going to explore for water, minerals, uh, explore what it's going to take to live in, in the space. Uh, and this is ongoing um, and a monstrous project, and I'm so glad to be a part of it. Up, we're going to show you how the rover would work. Torvex uh, designers gave us a demonstration before they shipped off their technology to NASA headquarters. That's coming up.